Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React. Today we are going to learn how to retrieve all the files from the Firebase Cloud Storage in React. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here you can see that if I go to my folder structure, so in my images folder, I have the four images, right? So here you can see that the same thing I have the four images. You can see the four images are there. If I upload something new, then it also come over here. So let's try one more upload. So here I will upload like this images to Firebase open and this is uploaded. Okay, let's refresh this. Currently it's one, two, three, four. Let's reload this and we will get the five images. Now you can see uploading images to the Firebase cloud. It's added. Okay, so let's dive into the code level, how we, ha how we will do that. This concept, like if you have the images, you have the MP3, you have the video. So whether you want to go with the video player, you want to create it. So let's get all the files and make a video player. If you have the images, then you can use as a slider. Okay, image gallery, you can create by fetching all the data. If you have the MP3 in the folders, then you can make a music player system in the React and you can, you can play around it. Okay, so this is how this this logic can implement like this way in the projects, right? So let's dive into the code level. So this is the file firebase.js. So make sure you have all the settings over here. So firebase, firebase compact auth, firebase store and the compact storage. So this is these are the settings that you need to go to your firebase account and project settings. Okay, here you will get all the details. So web app. So you have to create the web app and these are the details you need to copy and paste it over here. Okay. Don't use these details of mine. You can create and use yours. Okay. Then Firebase initialize the app. Then we have to store, we have a storage because we are fetching the data from the storage function to get all the files in the specific folder. So here I'm getting all my specific folder over here, right? So storage.ref list all, then mapping and returning all the files. Okay, if something goes wrong, then error fetching the files. Okay, the next step we have the, where we have to show all of this. So we have the file list component. So this is that one. Okay, so here we have a use fact and the use state from the React storage from the Firebase. Then this is the file list and the set file list. So first we will send the folder images storage.ref folder path we have sent. Okay. And then we have the await storage ref dot list all. So we are fetching the list all, then promise all, then returning all the items with the get download URL and return the item name and the URL. Okay, and set all this in the state. After this, we are just doing the looping over here, file list dot map, where we have an image source and we have the href link. Okay, so you can click on the link and you can go to that file also. Let me show you. So here we have that one. If I click on this one, you can see by clicking on this one, this file will come up the image one. So this is exactly the URL where we have uploaded that one. Okay. So yeah, this and after that, you can export the default file list component and use it in your app.js file. So here we have app.js file list component, call it over here and it will go like this. Okay. So this is how you are able to retrieve the images, videos, MP3, whatever in your storage and show into your React application. Okay. So any doubt, any query in that, just do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. One thing I left that you have to install the NPMI Firebase. So currently, which Firebase I'm using over here in my packet.json, that's the latest one, I suppose. So where we go with the Firebase, this is the 10.6.0. This is the latest one, right? So make sure you are using the latest one in your React application, the Firebase latest library. Okay. Any doubt, any query, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day and don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.